So this is going to walk you through how to get all the files and things you need set up for the six R classes that are on this website. It's all set up in a script for you and it will create directories on your computer, load all the necessary data and script files that I've created and put it all in a neat location for you so you don't have to worry about having it all set up properly. So what you, you should have already downloaded an R script file called setting up for R classes. Um, that should be somewhere on your computer where you can find it. And then open R Studio, which is which I have open here. You'll see that R Studio has um, several panes. Um, the right now it's we're not really seeing the script pane, but we will in a minute. Um, and let's go ahead and I'll talk you through those panes in a second. Let's go ahead and open that file. So go to the file menu and say open file and navigate to where you save that setting up for our classes file. Say open and it's going to launch a new pane here at the top. You'll see it says setting up for our classes dot R. Dot R means this is an R script file. Um, we'll talk about the different types of files in a little bit. Um, and there's directions here. The main thing is that we need to make a change in the part two. Um, let me walk you through here. So part one uh, is going to look and see if you have R packages loaded on your computer and if you don't have them it's going to load it for you. Um, so when I run this in the video it's not going to take very long because I have these loaded on my computer. For you it's going to take a little longer and you may need to hit pause on the video while this loads. Um, uh, the way R works is that there's base uh, base R language already baked into what you've already installed to the R um, when, when you install the R. Um, R Studio is a GUI interface that allows you to work with R and is set up designed to work really slick with it. You can use, there's other interfaces you can use, but most people I I've haven't run across anybody yet who does not use R Studio. Um, and then, but a lot of the code that we use is actually comes from these packages that you add in. Um, and you, you add them as you need them. Um, these packages are all the ones we're going to use for these six sessions. Um, so, so there's quite a few here. For a beginner, you really there's only about two or three, maybe four, that you'd truly use um, all the time. So um, when you have a script like this, you can see that there's annotation that is um, marked with a hashtag in front of it, and it's green. And then code does not have a hashtag in front of it. And when you want to run some code, you highlight what you want to run. And there's a couple, there's some keyboard shortcuts to do it, but I'll show you the buttons. Up here, you push this run button and it's going to run the current line or selection. Um, and it, down in the bottom in the console down here, it'll show you that it's that it's working. And yours is probably going to be running. It might show a little stop sign in here indicating that it's still running. When the stop sign is gone and you have a carrot back down in your console, then it, then it is done and loaded. Um, now that has loaded the packages. Um, now we can go ahead to the next part. So this is the part where you need to make a change. Um, you need to set it to your uh, someplace on your computer where you want all these files to be stored. And remember, this is going to create some directories and download some files and un unzip the documents that are in the zipped files. Um, if you're on a, a Mac, the syntax will be a little bit different. Um, generally, you just want to find uh, the best location for you to have these files. So mine is going out to this um, documents directory. So in this, this documents directory, this is where it's going to make some new folders. So I'm going to go ahead and run this just this line. And so what that is doing is saying set the working directory here, point it here. And now down in the files section down in the lower right, you should see whatever is in your, um, whatever directory you pointed it at, you should see whatever files you have and folders you have there. And th this one is showing mine. You can see I have a lot of, a lot of junk in there. Um, and the, so then this next section is going to create some folders 
you'll see the folder names here are getting started our tidyverse don't worry about this code here this is a function that you're never going to use again unless you want to create folders like this yourself um, go ahead and hit run on this section and now it should have some folders in here for you there they are our getting started tidyverse cleaning data etc they should you should see them down here in the lower right and then part four um, is to download and unzip all of these files. Um, I'll just run one here so you can see what it does. But you should go ahead and run all of them. And it should, yep, it should go through. And if you look down at the console here, you should see it's going to the URL and unzipping. And let's see, that one was the getting started. So it should, if we click in getting started now, we should see some files in getting started. And as long as you don't get any error messages down here, um, they should have all come through correctly. They should all have two, three, maybe four um, files with them in, that will end up in that directory. And once you've done all of that, your once you've downloaded all of these these files for these sections, you're good. You can close this R script and um, go ahead and. Um, start one of the classes. So so to start a class, um, you are, you will go to the file, close that script, go to the file menu, and you could either do this right away after running that, or you could come back to RStudio at some other time. But whenever you, you start over, you go to um, RStudio and launch new project, and you point it to existing directory and you're going to point it to that directory we just created. So I'm going to do the R getting started and say open and create project. And what this is going to do is create a file with a .p, .rproj extension on it. And this is like a, think of it as a giant box with a bow around it that's going to keep everything organized for you. Um, and any, any work you do in here will all be kind of connected together. And when you want to start working on this uh, again, it will, you just have to open the project file and everything will be there. Um, it needs to be in the same file where the, 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 the files are um, if you want to make it simple and clean and you don't have to point to some other directory when you want to pull data in. Um, for, the, for that, that class, the getting started one, you're going to use this, you're going to open up this getting started with our scripts from down here. You can open it right from this files menu in the lower right. And now it's, now it's time to start the next video. There you go. Thank you.